this class now we discuss about one of the magnetic property of the bar magnet coulomb single square law of magnetism already seen the first lesson in electrostatic two kind of charges one is a positive charge another one is a negative charge the plus q another one is a minus q positive 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 negative is like charges is unlike charges like charges produce in a repulsive force unlike charges is produced in a attractive force the magnitude of force of attraction or repulsion is produced by two kind of the charges is f is directly proportional to q1 and q2 by r square the mag magnitude of the force between the two charges is directly proportional to product of magnitude of the charges and inversely proportional to square of the distance between them it is called inverse square law of electrostatics find the force between two charges the same like as the force between the two poles of the bar magnet a force between the magnet to give the coulomb's inverse square law of the magnet inverse square law of the magnet let us consider two magnet one is a magnet a other one is a magnet b The magnet A is a magnet A. Another one is a magnet B. The north pole and the north pole is a light charges. Light light force is produced in a repulsive force. And electrostatics is light charges is produced in a repulsive force. The same as the two light magnetic force. The north pole and north pole produced in a repulsive force. And also south pole and the south pole also produced in a repulsive force. Unlike force, the south pole and the north pole. South pole of the magnet A and the south pole of the magnet B is producing an attractive force, the unlike force. The north pole of the magnet A and the south pole of the magnet B is producing an attractive force. So, like force is producing a repulsive force. Unlike force is producing an attractive force. The find the magnitude of the attraction or repulsion force between the two forces. Find the magnitude of attraction or repulsion. Repulsion force produced in a two force to give the force inverse square law of magnet. To give the equation, F directly proportional to F directly proportional to force strength of the two magnet. The south pole force strength Q M and the south pole force strength Q M. The Q M is the force strength of the magnetic force. The attractive repulsion force between the two magnet. F directly proportional to Q M and Q M, Q M A and Q M B by R square. The repulsion force between the two magnet directly proportional to product of the pole strength of the each poles and inversely proportional to square of the distance between them. It is a Coulomb's inverse square of magnet. Find the magnitude of the force between the two poles. This is R directly proportional to Product of pole strength of the two poles and inversely proportional to square of the distance. It is a Coulomb inverse square law. See the next slide. Inverse square law. The force of attraction, force of attraction and repulsion. The force of attraction and repulsion between the two magnetic poles is directly proportional to product of pole strength. And then inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Square of the distance between them. It is a inverse square law of the magnet. And inverse square of the bar magnet. Find the equation. Y of the alpha is directly proportional to Q y and Q y b. Q y b is a force strength of the magnet A. Q y b is a force strength of the magnet B. Distance between the two magnet is R. It is inversely proportional to square of the distance. For example, it is a north pole. Another magnet, it is a south pole. Distance between the two poles is R. So, you have directly proportional to QMA and QMB by R square to R cap. R cap is a unit vector indicate the direction of the force. Indicate the direction of the force to change the directly proportional. It is negligible to put in the constant. Change the directly proportional to cancel. To put in the constant is called a constant of proportionality. The value of the k is a constant of 
purpose not be is depend on the square of the surrounding of the medium is depend upon the surrounding of the medium is a k f of r is a equal to k into q m a q m b by r square into r cap the magnitude of the force for the magnitude of the force the f of r is equal to k q m a q m b by r square k is a constant of proportionality is depend upon the surrounding of the medium k is equal to mu by 4 pi generally mu is mu is a permit permit of the medium mu is equal to mu not into mu r mu not mu not mu not is a permit of free space or vacuum mu r is a relative permit permit of the medium mu r is a relative permit of the medium is r medium mu r is equal to 1 any other medium mu r greater than 1 the r passes to taking an r medium so mu r is equal to 1 so sub to the sub to the mu r is equal to 1 so k is equal to mu r by 4 pi mu r is a constant value square by say constant values this value is greater equal to 10 power minus 1 into the power meter 10 power minus 1 into the power meter so integer sub to the mu r is equal to 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 so sub to the mu mu r 4 by 4 by say cancel so k is equal to mu naught k is equal to 10 power minus 7 into per meter it is inverse square of the bar magnet and inverse square of the magnet force of attraction or repulsion between the two magnetic poles is directly proportional to product of the force strain and inversely proportional to square of the distance between them next we will be discuss about magnetic field at your point along the axis line of the dipole or magnet let us consider bar magnet. Magnetic length of the bar magnet is a 2L. is always a geometric center. Distance between geometric center and the any one of the pole is L. Total length of the mag magnetic pole is 2L. To find the magnetic field at your point C along the axial line of the bar magnet. Let us consider, consider point C at a distance R from the that is considered by at a distance r from the geometric center O. Find the net magnetic field at a point C due to the bar magnet. Due to the bar magnet. Two magnetic field produced at a point. First one is a north pole produced at a magnetic field at a point C. And the south pole produced a magnetic field at a point C. So two magnetic fields produced at point C. To find the magnetic field at a point C, Using unit test charge is placed here. Find the magnetic field at your point C. Using unit test charge is placed here. Unit test not magnetic force. The force length is 1 ampere meter. The unit north pole experiences a force due to the magnetic field north and south. Find the magnetic field at your point P. General definition of the magnetic field. Force experienced by a unit north pole at a point. Find the magnetic field at point C. Defined as force experienced by a unit north pole placed at a point C. Q M is a unit north pole at a point C. Is called a Q M C. That is a force experienced by a unit north pole due to the magnetic field of north and the magnetic field of the south. Two force expressed by unit north pole due to the magnetic field north and the south. So B vector is equal to F vector by QMC. First one is a magnetic field at a point C due to the north pole. Vs vector is equal to F N C vector by QMC. Magnetic field at a point C due to the north pole. Bs B n vector is equal to f n c vector by q m c q m c is a unit north pole f n c is a force between the north pole and the test north pole place at a point c f n c vector is a north pole and test north pole place at a point c to find the f n c f n c is equal to mu naught by 4 by q m n force strength of the north pole and Product of the QMC, force strength of the test north pole place at a point C by R minus L, 1 square into R square. The force will be the two forces to give the 
इनवर्स पैरल ऑफ द लाइन सम किया डायरेक्ट प्रोपोर्शनल टू क्यू क्यू एम क्यू एम बाय आर स्क्वायर दिस इज बिटवीन द नॉर्थ पोल एंड देन पॉइंट सी द टोटल डिस्टेंस हियर दिस इज टोटल डिस्टेंस आर दिस डिस्टेंस हियर सो इन दिस डिस्टेंस दिस इज द नॉर्थ पोल एंड पॉइंट सी आर माइनस एफ सो यहां एंड सी वाटर इज इक्वल टू म्यू एम नॉट बाय 4 पे क्यू एम एन क्यू एम सी बाय आर माइनस एफ वर्स पर इनटेक आर कैप तो सब सुद यहां पे एंड सी वेक्टर Q M C values one the unit north pole and then Q M C is equal to one unit north pole so F N is equal B N vector is equal to F N C vector then B N vector is equal to mirror by four by Q M by R minus L whole square into R cap then R cap is a unit vector to indicate the direction of the force R cap is a unit vector to indicate the direction of the force this is a north pole. The place here test pole also not so producing a repulsive force. The repulsive force along the direction is possibly x-axis, possibly x-axis. So R cap indicate the direction of the force at a point C due to the north pole along the positive x-axis. So magnetic field at a point C due to the north pole D M by R is equal to mu M by four by Q M by R minus L whole square into R cap. Q M N is a pole strength of the north pole. Q M C is a pole pole strength of the south pole. Pole strength of the west north pole. West north pole value is equal to what? Ampere meter. Pole strength of the north pole is Q M. The other two pole strength of south pole also Q M. The pole strength each pole are equal. So magnetic field at point C B N to the north pole. D M meter is equal to Q M by Q M N to substitute the Q M by R minus L whole square into R cap. R cap is a unit vector indicating the direction of the magnetic field. In this equation, in this equation, R cap indicates the direction of the force. The same like as that, R cap indicates the direction of the magnetic field at point C due to the north pole is along the positive x-axis. The next one is a magnetic field at point C due to the south pole. Magnetic field at point C. Due to the south pole at a distance r plus l from the point C, the magnetic field at point C due to the south pole, the point C's distance r plus l from the south pole. So B S vector is equal to the modification of this equation. B S vector is equal to mu naught by four pi q m by r minus l. This is r plus l whole square into minus r cap because this is a south pole. Test pole is a unit. North pole, the south pole to attract the north pole. South pole attract the north pole. This direction B S vector. So indicate the magnet negative x axis. So negative x axis minus R cap. The minus negative side indicate the the magnetic field at point C due to the south pole. It is opposite direction of the magnetic field at north pole. Magnetic field at point C due to the south pole. Is opposite direction of the magnetic field at point C due to the north pole to indicate the negative side. So two magnetic field at the point C, one is a north pole, another one is magnetic field at the north pole, another one is magnetic field at the south pole. Magnetic field is vector point C. The both are acting in opposite direction. Yes, to find the net magnetic field at point C using vector addition, you see vector addition. The next is a mathematical derivation. The total magnetic field at point C, total magnetic field, the net magnetic field at point C due to the Bohr magnetics, B C vector. The final magnetic field at point C is B C vector is equal to B N vector plus B C B S vector. The last equation is also B N mu by four pi P N by R minus L square into R cap plus B S mu by four pi P N by R plus L whole square into minus R cap. To move the part of the magnetization, present the minus minus. So Q M mu naught by four pi Q M by R minus L whole square R cap minus mu naught by four pi Q M by R plus L whole square into R cap. The common thing to take out the equation mu naught by four pi. This is mu naught by four pi. This is Q M. This is Q M. So mu naught by mu naught Q M by four pi. Remaining equation one by R minus L whole square is minus one by R plus L whole square. The R cap is taken from the right side is R cap. The R cap is a unit vector to indicate the direction of the magnetic field at a point C. So, mathematical derivation to use the cross multiplication. R plus L whole square R minus L 
फोर्स पर द ए प्लस बी बार यूसी ए प्लस बी फॉर ग्राफ के एक्सटर्नल इक्वेशन आर स्क्वायर प्लस एफ स्क्वायर प्लस टू आर दिस माइनस है दिस आर माइनस एल वर्स पर ये आर स्क्वायर प्लस एफ स्क्वायर माइनस टू आर है बाय आर माइनस एल वर्स पर इनटू आर प्लस एल वर्स पर टू मल्टीप्लाइन Let magnitude at point C. Q M V. Q M. Let magnitude at point C. We know Q M V is four pi. Its magnitude is multiplied into minus R square minus R square minus into minus minus into minus plus two R R square minus R square four square plus R square plus R square plus R square minus R square. Is cancel plus two R and plus two R. You see four R. So new mod Q M by four pi four R is by R square minus R square four square into R square. The R is compared to L. R is a distance between the point C from the geometric center. That is a length between the geometric center O and the any one of the points is L. The L is compared to R. L is very small, so L is a negligible. So R square, the power square is equal to R power four. So R square minus R square, whole square is nearly equal to R power four. This is also the next step. We know that the four L is equal to the two into two, two R and two Q M into L by R power four into R square. The R power four cancel, so we know that four pi. Q M into Q L. This is the the magnitude number Q M into Q L. So two P M by R Q into R K. The unit vector R K is equal to P M vector by P M or minus of P M. The P M vector is equal to P M into R K. So P M into R K is equal to P M vector using this term. So we are going B C vector is equal to we are going four pi two P M into R K P M vector by R Q. The P M vector is a magnetic moment. Magnetic moment of the dipole pole at the south pole to north pole. Magnetic moment is a vector point. So magnetic moment along the same direction of the magnetic moment. Magnetic moment is vector point along the south pole to north pole. Magnetic field at a point along the direction of the magnetic moment. Magnetic field at point C along the direction of magnetic moment. Magnetic moment along the direction of south to north. See the diagram. Magnetic field at a point C. Magnetic field at a point C. This along the direction of the magnetic moment P M vector. P M vector is a south pole to north pole. So magnetic field at a point C along the direction of the magnetic moment. So along the positive x axis. So equal to positive.